Hi, this is Pat from the Excelsior and the Southdale Libraries. It's sad that we can't be, get, be together right, right now, but I've got some stories and some fun things for you today. So, are you ready for a story time? Are you ready for a story time? Are you sitting on your pockets with your hands in your laps? Oh, you guys know what to do. Then you're ready for a story time. Sing with me. Yes, we're ready for a story time. Yes, we're ready for a story time. Yes, we're sitting on our pockets with our hands in our laps. Yes, we're ready for a story time. Let's sing ABC. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, that's a great way to start story time. I've got some fun books for you today. The first book today is called Small Brown Dog's Bad Remembering Day. I know that some of us right now, sometimes we don't have the best days, but I hope we don't have bad days like my friend Small Brown Dog. Small Brown Dog's Bad Remembering Day was written by Mike Gibby and illustrated, that means she drew the pictures, and her name is Barbara Neskamembi. Small brown dog was having a really bad remembering day. He couldn't remember which side to get out of bed. He couldn't remember what he liked for breakfast. And worst of all, he couldn't remember his name. If I could only find my collar, that would tell me my name, he said. But he couldn't remember where he left it. He looked high and he looked low, but he couldn't find it anywhere in his doghouse. So he ran outside. And very nearly ran into Tess the Terrier delivering the mail. Help Tess, I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Tess, are a small brown dog with a pink nose, but I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else, asked small brown dog. Tess thought hard. You like splashing in puddles. You're right, said small brown dog, and he set off to find some. He was splashing down the street when he saw Dan the Dalmatian. Help, Dan, I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Dan, are a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in puddles, but I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else, asked small brown dog. Dan thought hard. You're always chasing squirrels. You're right, said Small Brown Dog, and he set off for the park. At the park, he ran into Bobby the Bulldog. Help, Bobby, I've lost my collar, and I don't know who I am. You, said Bobby, are a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in puddles, is always chasing squirrels, but I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else, asked Small Brown Dog. Bobby thought hard. You've got a bad case of fleas. You're right, said Small Brown Dog, and he hurried off scratching. He went across the road and into the hairdressers, where he saw Peaches the Poodle. Help, Peaches, I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Peaches, are a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in puddles, is always chasing squirrels, and has a bad case of fleas, but I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else, asked small brown dog. Peaches thought hard. You can't resist hot dogs. You're right, said small brown dog, and he remembered that he was hungry. 
He turned the corner into the square where he saw Sid the sausage dog. Help, Sid. I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Sid, are a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in puddles, is always chasing squirrels, has a bad case of fleas, and can't resist hot dogs. But I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else, asked small brown dog. Sid thought hard. You bury bones in the sand. You're right, said small brown dog, and he set off to dig one up. He went across the square and into the building site where he saw Ralph the Rottweiler. Help, Ralph, I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Ralph, are a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in puddles, is always chasing squirrels, has a bad case of fleas, can't resist hot dogs and buries bones in the sand, but I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else, asked small brown dog. Ralph thought hard. You blow a big shiny trumpet. You're right, said small brown dog, and he set off to join the band. He went over the hill and into the park where he saw Charlie the Chihuahua. Help, Charlie, I've lost my collar and I don't know who I am. You, said Charlie, are a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in puddles, is always chasing squirrels, has a bad case of fleas, can't resist hot dogs, buries bones in the sand, and blows a big shiny trumpet. <gasps> but I don't remember your name. Can't you remember anything else, asked small brown dog. Charlie thought hard. You're always losing your collar. I know that, said small brown dog, but where can I find it? You could try the police station, said Charlie. You're right, said small brown dog, and he set off to do just that. He ran through the park, across the road, up the street, and into the police station, where Alf the Alsatian was standing behind the desk. Help, Alf, I've lost my collar and... Here it is, said Alf. Roger the Retriever brought it in this morning. Oh, at last I can remember, said Small Brown Dog. I am a small brown dog with a pink nose who likes splashing in puddles, is always chasing squirrels, has a bad case of fleas, can't resist hot dogs, buries bones in the sand, blows a big shiny trumpet, and is always losing his collar, and my name is Patch. Isn't that a fun book? The End. That was a great story. And you know what? Let's clap, because it's always fun to clap when you really, really like something. Here's kind of a little fun play that you can do at home. It's called Frisky's Doghouse. And you go like this. This is Frisky's doghouse. This is Frisky's bed. This is Frisky's bowl of food. So Frisky can be sad. This is Frisky's collar with his name upon it too. If you throw a stick to Frisky, He'll bring it back to you. <laughs> Let's do that one again. This is Frisky's doghouse. This is Frisky's bed. This is Frisky's bowl of food so Frisky can be fed. This is Frisky's collar with his name upon it too. If you throw Frisky a stick, he'll bring it back to you. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? I got another story for you today. It's kind of a variation of Brown Bear, Brown Bear, and every, most people know that story. This one's called Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? And it was written by Mil Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Caro drew the pictures. He's the illustrator. We've got some sound in this book too. Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Polar bear, 
Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. <coughs> elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. <coughs> leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. <coughs> Peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. <coughs> walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. <coughs> zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, fluting like a flamingo, braying like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, Trumpeting like an elephant. Snarling like a leopard. Yelping like a peacock. And bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. Isn't that a fun story? And you can make all of those fun sounds yourself. That was great. Let's clap. Yay! And a tip from parents, caregivers, grandparents, though especially at this time when everybody is at home and it may just seem that young children have nothing left to do but play and it doesn't seem very important. And yet, remember a quote from Fred Rogers, our much beloved Mr. Rogers. Play is often talked about as if it were a relief from serious learning. But for children, play is serious learning. Play is really the work of childhood. Well, thank you for tuning in today. It has really been a lot of fun and we hope to see you soon. This is how we always end story time at the Excelsior and Southdale Library. So if you can stand up. We call this nature's exercise. We're gonna stretch like a tree bend like a rainbow, blow like the wind, buzz like a bee, buzz, 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 jump like raindrops, bouncing off puddles, clap like thunder, and wave like the sea. Can you make a big sun? When the sun goes down, they call it sunset. And when the sun comes up, they call it sunrise. And you spin around like Thanks for being at Storytime today, and I hope to see you soon.